Prime Minister and political leader of the People's National Movement, Dr. Keith Rowley, described the use of the Stand Your Ground campaign by the opposition as copycatting of the worst kind. Stand Your Ground didn't just come up like that. It's being copied from the United States. And interestingly enough, offering it in a local government election is part of the nonsense because no local government body could pass any law, stand your ground or stand your what. It is not a local government issue. The Stand Your Ground law in the United States of America provides that Americans in the 38 states where it has been enacted may use deadly force when they reasonably believe it to be necessary to defend themselves to threats of death, serious bodily injury, rape and some other serious crimes. One resident of St. Joseph, Caron Raymond, asked Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley if the Stand Your Ground campaign put forward by the opposition leader would address the issue of home invasions. Dr. Rowley said there are currently 14 states in the U.S. that are trying to get rid of the law as it has created division. Yes, if you have a gun in the appropriate situation and you have the opportunity, then you could and should defend yourself. But that cannot be the national policy where everybody gets a gun and you shoot everybody else who chat knew or who you think chat knew. Because that is what they're advocating. Why would they come in a local government election and say, make, I will give you a gun and you will stand your ground? Why is that involved in a local government election? Not one of the 141 councillors, if they win every seat, Not one of them could change one paragraph in that law that now exists. He said a handful of people in the police service found it lucrative to exploit this system in the past. What they are really after is the money to be made as were being made in the firearm users license business. And that is why a few years ago, up until just very recently, the country would have approved the importation of five or 8,000 firearms a year. And it jumped to 58,000 in one year. Multiply that by 40,000. Dr. Rowley said the aim of the system for applying for a firearm user's license is not to militarize the society. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TDT News.